In this video lesson, we're going to take a look at the macroeconomic topic of consumption versus savings, also known as the marginal propensity to consume versus the marginal propensity to save. The MPC is the change in consumption divided by the change in disposable income. It is a fraction of any change in disposable income that is spent on consumer goods. So the MPC equals change in consumption divided by change in disposable income. The MPS is the fraction saved of any change in disposable income. So MPS equals change in savings divided by change in disposable income. In the chart, we have disposable income, consumption, saving, MPC, and MPS. The first number, we have 12,000 for disposable income, we have 12,100 for consumption, and negative 100 for savings, and we have nothing for the MPC and the MPS. We have 13,000 next for disposable income, 13,000 for consumption, a savings of zero. Consumption has changed by 0 0.90, and savings has changed by 0 0.10. Next, we have 14,000 for disposable income, 13,800 for consumption, $200 for savings, a change in consumption by 0 0.80, a change in savings by 0 0.20. Next, we have 15,000 for disposable income, 14,500 for consumption, savings of $500, a change in consumption by 0.70, a change in savings by 0 0.30. Next, we have 16,000 for disposable income. We have 15,100 for consumption, 900 for savings, a change in consumption by 0 0.60, a change in savings by 0 0.40. And finally, we have 17,000 for disposable income, 15,600 for consumption, 1,400 for savings, and we have 0 0.50 for a change in consumption, and 0 0.50 for a change in savings. Why must the sum of MPC and MPS always equal 1? The only choice people have is to consume or save. So 1 equals 100% consumption versus savings.